It's no secret they didn't see eye to eye. Last December, Hillary Benn powerfully told the House of Commons he was in favour of bombing IS positions in Syria. And Jeremy Corbyn said why he wasn't. Since then, though, any tensions have been beneath the surface. That was until the result of the EU referendum. Many in Jeremy Corbyn's shadow cabinet, including Hillary Benn, felt their leader had fought a lacklustre campaign which had contributed to Brexit. The veteran Labour MP Margaret Hodge wants a motion of no confidence in Jeremy Corbyn to be discussed by Labour MPs tomorrow. But Hilary Benn was worried that the Labour leader would brush aside any criticism from his own MPs next week and stay on in office. So it was reported that Hilary Benn had been asking if fellow members of Labour's top team would be willing to resign in protest and put pressure on Jeremy Corbyn to go. But he was swiftly sacked before he could resign himself. In a statement, Hilary Benn said, It's now become clear that there is widespread concern amongst Labour MPs and in the shadow cabinet about Jeremy Corbyn's leadership of our party. In particular, there's no confidence in our ability to win the next election, which may come sooner than expected, if Jeremy continues as leader. Hilary Benn is a respected figure amongst many in the Labour Party, so the question is whether getting rid of him strengthens or further weakens Jeremy Corbyn's hold on the party leadership.